This is another movie, a short independent film with a big, big Irish Wolfhound mix. It was a go with, where it was a long walk. I couldn't be anywhere real near to them. But even if the dog gets a little a bit ahead, it looks natural. It looks like, they're, you know, a boy and his dog walking through the woods. Now you have some amazing movies, His Vanilla Sky, you've worked on also television, The Sopranos. What was the most unusual request you had? First what comes to mind is a movie named Bliss, where I had to work one, a little eight week old puppy that had to learn a down stay and a speak, and a fly. I had to work with a fly. Now obviously you can't train a fly, but you can manipulate the environment so that when you chill it down, it slows down, and you can attach a tiny, tiny, tiny little line to it, as thin as a human hair, onto that fly, and then he'll fl zoom around when he warms back up into an area that you control. How did you figure this all out? This was taught to me by another animal trainer in the business. You know, I called him up, okay, I got this job for a fly, how do I do it, what did you do? And he actually had worked on the fly. And so he knew the tricks of the trade, so he shared them with me. What else do you do? What other things? Dogs are the number one requested animal for film. But me, myself, I've worked with house cats. That's probably the second call. And house cats are not difficult to train. It's just getting them used to strange situations. Yeah.